Well, Peter and I have been friends for a long time, but really been working together closely for the last few years. And uh, it was really that relationship that kind of started this, this whole idea of a comeback. Lance and I actually go way back. I knew Lance when he was about 15, when he was a triathlete. You know, I didn't know him well, but we just kind of knew each other and we'd see each other at races and stuff. And then right after he got cancer, we had a, a, a good mutual friend from Texas, and he lived here also. He was one of my clients, actually. And he brought Lance to Santa Barbara, you know, uh, right after he finished his cancer treatments. And he needed to build up strength and get stronger. He was just ready to make his first comeback. So he came in the gym, and of course, he looks a lot different than he does now. He was pretty overweight. He was eating chips, eating burritos, you know, everything he couldn't do when he was racing. So then we started training and I could see slowly lights going off in his, in his head because you know at the time I could beat him at some things you know in the gym I could destroy him on running I could beat him on the trails and he couldn't you know if you know anything about Lance he's the most competitive of human being and he hated it. I was in Southern California in his area and uh, focusing on the Chicago Marathon so he and I started training every day and uh, while I started getting fitter and fitter um, then the tour was on so I started watching the tour and um, you know, it's just been a, a, a constant progression with him. I'm very comfortable with the workouts he, um, he gives uh, on an individual uh, basis. I think he's one of the fittest people that I've ever been around, if not the fittest. But his stuff is, is good because he, uh, he has a background that's not so different from what I do now. He used to be a professional triathlete. Uh, he's done numerous 50-mile runs. I mean, he's a guy who really knows endurance sport. So I think our, our main thing is, is, is really trying to obviously strengthen the core, uh, work on flexibility. Flexibility is a big deal for me and trying to get my hips and my lower back as flexible as possible. Obviously the strength stuff that's associated with, with all of those things including for cycling, um, much of it is, is not that traditional. I mean if you think about strength people think of well, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to get on a, a few weight machines and I'm going to do leg curls and I'm going to do uh, squats and I'm going to do this very traditional things. Ours is is quite a bit different. A lot of it just has to do with a, a few pieces of equipment in the gym, which is my garage, uh, and gravity, and your body weight, and, and, uh, and your willingness to suffer. You know, we start this stuff in October or November, and the first week you, you, you do certain exercises, you think, I, I'll never be able to get to a certain point. Uh, and it's, it's amazing how quickly you get there. Within a couple of few weeks, you look back on it, and you think, that was, that was easy. You know, but he's, He's been good for me, and, and, and I think that the, the cool thing is it was really uh, that challenge that he issued to me a long time ago that really started this whole thing. 